Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use OBS Studio to record your screen, and I'll give you just a basic guide on how to get started and how to use the software. So the first thing you're going to need to do is just head over to OBS Studio. And from here, the first thing we need to do is select tools at the top, and we're going to select auto configuration wizard. So in this window, we'll have a couple of options to choose from, and it really depends on what you're trying to record. So if you're using OBS for streaming purposes, then obviously select this top option here. But if you're just doing voiceovers and general recording, then I'd recommend using this second option and hitting next. Then for the base canvas resolution, I'd recommend just leaving this as use current, which is usually 920 by 1080, depending on your native resolution size. And then for FPS, I'd recommend setting this to 60 FPS for the best quality. This is just gonna help your recordings look a lot smoother. But if you do have a low quality system, you might wanna consider reducing this to 30. Then go ahead and press next, click on apply settings. So the next thing you're gonna to need to do is head over to settings in the bottom right hand side here. And then in this general tab, we can pretty much leave all of these settings as they are. We need to come over to output Output from the left hand side and for the output mode I would recommend just leaving this as simple as unless you're doing streaming or you need some complex recording simple is going to be fine for most of our needs then you need to come down to audio bitrate and I'd recommend increasing this to the highest number available which for me is going to be 320. For video encoder this really depends on the GPU that you have installed in your PC. For me I'm running a NVIDIA graphics card so I'm going to go ahead and select this NVENC H.264 option but if you're running an AMD graphics card then you might have something slightly different here and if you're not sure or don't have an integrated graphics card I would just go and select this software x264 option at the top here. So for this encoder preset, I like to change this to P6 slower, which gives us a bit better quality, but it's a bit slower encoding. Come all the way down to the recording section and recording path. This is just where our video files are going to be saved to. So if we hit browse, then we can select a folder on our computer where we want all of our recordings to be saved. I'm just happy for them to go in this videos folder. So I'm gonna leave that as is. Then if we come down to recording quality, you need to make sure this is set to high quality and medium file size. Then for recording format, you want to make sure this is set to MP4 as this is a file format that is recognized universally and it will be easy for you to upload your clips in whatever you're using them for. Video encoder, once again, this is exactly the same as the setting up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select H.264. The rest of the settings down here, we can just leave them as default. And we're then gonna head over to the audio tab. Make sure the sample rate is set to the highest number available, which for me is going to be 48 kilohertz. Then down in the audio devices, for desktop audio, this is where we want the volume to be coming out from. So here, you just need to select your laptop speakers or headphones or whatever you want the audio to be playing out from. And then for the microphone, this is obviously where we select our input device so for me i'm going to select my plugged in yeti microphone here and the last thing you need to do is come over to this advanced tab in the left hand side here and we're going to change the process priority from normal and just set this to high then we can press apply and ok to save these changes and the last thing you'll need to do before you're ready to record is just come over to this plus icon in the sources section and you'll need to select display capture so display capture will record all of your screen and all of your windows and all of your applications. If you did just want to record one particular game or one particular application, then you can also select this here. And then lastly, we have the audio mixer over in the right here, and this is where we can adjust our volumes for our microphone. So for your microphone, I'd recommend setting this at around 80 to 90%. If you have this turned all the way up to full, it can distort your voice and cause crackling noises. So somewhere around 80 to 90 is just fine. And also if you want to pick up desktop audio from your computer, if you have sounds and games in the background playing, then we can also increase this volume here. So once you're ready to record, all you need to do is select display capture or the source that you're trying to record, and then we can come over to start recording. And it's as simple as that, guys. That's how you record and set up OBS Studio. If this video did help you, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Until next time.